A song here in GarageBand iOS. This is my song, Timber Song, and we're going to get on and mix it. It sounds a little something like this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Pete. This is Studio Live today. If it's your first time here, my goal on this channel is to help you create, record, and release your best music. And we do that through tips and tricks and tutorials and live streams just like this one. If that sounds like your kind of bag, uh, subscribe because uh, we do this every day. I was going to say almost every day. No, we've got at least something for you every day here on this channel. So this video is going to be in a few different parts here. We're going to review the mix that I have here so far. We're then going to do a faders down mix. So I'm going to put everything down and then see if we can bring it back up and, and see if our mix that we mixed along the way, can we make that better by doing a faders down? We'll find out. We're then going to uh, try and get close to finalizing this mix and get a demo version. Yes, this will be demo number three for those playing along at home, and this will be close to the final mix. But then there is one more super exciting thing that we want to do here, which is allow you to contribute some vocals. So we won't be able to fully mix it here. We'll need to leave a little bit of headroom because at the very end of the song, I'm going to see if you folks want to actually add in your own vocals to the gang vocal section at the end. So we've got all of that and uh, and a bucket of fish here on the show today. So I hope you are ready to rock and roll. It's going to be a long one because we've got a lot to do. Let's dive in here and uh, take a look. Hello to the folks who are here live, by the way. Uh, hello to Mark. Hello to Peter. Hello to Jade. Hello to uh, Audible Video is here. Thomas Christ is here. I hope you're all doing very well on this. Uh, it's a wonderful Thursday morning here in uh, Adelaide, South Australia. It's 24 degrees Celsius, which is what, nicely in the 70s, 80s, it's, yeah, spring has sprung. Uh, and uh, we are we are here in GarageBand iOS. Now, if you caught the last couple of shows, we had a few technical difficulties. I'm trying something completely different here. I've got my uh, reflector on full screen on my other screen, and I'm not going to touch it. So we're going to see, we're trying something new, and we're going to see if this is going to work for us here today. So if you're not familiar with the song, we'll do our usual quick review of this. We've got a track here with, now we've got two acoustic guitars recorded. We've panned them left and right. We have a lead, two lead vocal takes recorded. In fact, we're at the point now where I'm going to start removing some stuff we don't want. So this was my original scratch vocal I was going to use for a double. I'm not using that anymore. We're going to delete it because I recorded two vocals that I'm pretty happy with. We've got this one, which is sort of my second take that I like the best that I'm using throughout. And then I've got this take, which I'm going to use for some vocal doubles through the chorus. And you'll see how that works as we go. It's down at the moment. We'll just trim bits out and use that. But we'll also need to review this vocal take because if there's any parts of this vocal we don't like, guess what? That's why you do too. We can actually go and substitute in the other vocal sound. So that way, before we decide on the double, we'll go and do that here. We have our bass guitar. We have a few pads here. Now let's, um, let's rename these pads to make them make more sense. So this is our electric piano, which if we solo here, it sounds like this. Oh, we've got to turn the volume back up. So this is a, a pad and it's an electric piano pad. So let's rename this. We'll name this electric piano, uh, and it's just going to be a pad throughout there, just so that we know what it is. And originally we were using the Hollywood strings, so that's going to make these parts a bit weird. So let's just rename these to uh, to E piano pad or something like that, just so that we've got a little bit of organisation. If you do a little bit of organisation here, it'll save you down the track because you'll get super confused at what you're actually doing. We'll come in here, we'll rename this one here. This is also going to be our E piano pad. It's a bit, that this is the only painful thing is when you try one instrument and then you switch it out, it leaves the naming convention the same uh, on that instrument. We've then got our sole organ, which I'm liking more and more. Uh, the organ's doing a little bit of this business uh, over here. Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, that's doing that biz there. And then um, we have our key. A nice little arpeggio, a nice slow arpeggio here on the piano. And that does that through the chorus. It's then joined by its friend, up an octave. And we also have this funky little arpeggio. And uh, this one goes a little bit something like this through the chorus. And the instrument we're using on this one is this dark lo-fi piano, which I kind of like because it just sits a little bit underneath the mix. And I think that's cool. So that's what we've got going on here from a pad point of view. We then got a whole bunch of backing vocals. You saw me record all of those in the vocal recording video. Uh, this lead guitar idea, I've actually converted to a lead guitar. So I'm going to remove that now. 
We've got these crosswalk samples, which I still don't know about, but I kind of like them in this little part. Listen to this. I don't know why, but I just like them. It just it gives it some flavour and something a bit different. And then we have Jode Star's epic drums, which we'll be mixing in to this track as we go through. So that's what we've got. Now, I had a few things, a bit of homework to do, and I recorded some lead guitar bits here, which I'm absolutely not convinced are going to stay at all. But maybe there'll be something there. Because if we look here... Oh, What do you think? Lead guitar, yes. Lead guitar, no. Maybe. Because then I went nuts and I kind of did a whole bunch of like fiddlies down here. Nobody's got it figured out. We're all just a working pro. And I don't know. I, it, it, it might be adding too much to it. I do kind of like this because this was my original lead guitar idea. So maybe it'll just be this and maybe only in the second chorus. We'll find out as we go through. And then I did an absolutely gosh awful uh, attempt at doing some power chords here. Let's take a listen to these. <laughs> On their own, they sound okay. Okay, not that bit. Uh, but yeah, I just don't like it. So they'll probably end up on the cutting room floor. Right, now that we're set up here, what I'm going to do, you know that I, that I like some version control. And look what version we're up to here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I've got the extra iCloud drive storage here because we're going to duplicate this and go to version 14. And what we're going to do, we're going to come in here to version 14 and we're going to go faders down. Now, I always try this. Sometimes I abandon it. So that's why I went to 14. 13 we know is a good rough mix. And you know what? If I completely ruin this, I know that 13 is a fallback. So you're going to see some experimentation here because what we're going to do is we're going to put everything faders down. We're basically going to try and mix, not quite from scratch, but close to it. We're going to mix up each instrument and not sort of solo them, but build it up. And when I tend to build up a mix, I tend to build it up from the bass and drums and then through the acoustics. And then I lay the vocals on top. Different people do it different ways around, but I tend to get the instrumental first and then whack the vocals on top. So uh, let's, let's do that now, shall we? So first of all, we need to go in with our drums. Now, because Jade was so cool to separate out these drums, we have seven tracks of drums. So what we can do is bring each one of these down and let's build out a drum mix, shall we? Boom, 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 boom. I'll also need to come here and turn off this one. Uh, did I see Patrick Moonbird there? Hello, Patrick Moonbird. It's been a while since I've seen you around the channel. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, so we're going to turn off the minus 10 dB cut that I did there just while we're mixing this one up here and we'll come back over to here. So what we can do is let's bring in the kick drum and we'll slowly uh, mix this one up here and I'll talk you through it as we go along. So here's our kick. Let's bring in the snare. Bring in the hats. Bring in some toms. The toms nice and loud, just so that when they're coming in, they are really gonna cut through the mix. Right, I like that. That really powerful tom down. Now some uh, ride cymbal. Bring in these crashes. Nice. Go back to a section where we have our other crash coming in here. And now let's look at some of the panning we have on these drums because each one of these tracks is a stereo track. And what you'll notice here is the drums are all panned right down the middle. But if we want a little bit of extra stereo, we can actually move these. So even though that at the moment they'll be in different parts of the stereo spectrum because they're virtual drums, we can move them around if we want to. So let's just experiment with a little bit of this. If we wanted to, say, put our hi-hat uh, a little bit to the left, we could do something like this. And then you can hear your hi-hat. I can put it all the way to the left or all the way to the right. So if you want to just add a little bit of flavour, you can do a few things like this. Now your toms here, because it's going to use different toms, probably need to put that down the middle because it already stereo pans those. Our ride symbol, just for something different, why don't we just pan this to the right? And look, people are going to talk about the drums at this point saying that 
sometimes, you know, some people mix drums as if you're looking at the drum kit from uh, the, the, the crowd. Some people mix drums as if you're looking at it from the drum kit outwards. Really doesn't matter. Whatever sounds good to you. So we'll go with that. And then with these crashes, they're already, you'll, you'll hear that these are already on different sides. So as we play through here, you'll see that when we get to this crash, that's sort of more over on the right. But if you wanted to accentuate that, we can do it this way. So there's the other crash. That brings it more over to the right. And then we'll bring this crash. See how that just gives you a little bit more stereo field? Now we can of course come back and change this afterwards. We don't have to leave it like this. This is all just a work in progress, pun intended. So we can uh, workshop that as we go through. But this is just a way that you can get a feel. And even if you don't use all of this, it can really help you just get a feel for what's happening in the song. So even if I go back to the other one, Sometimes you forget, does anyone do this? You forget what instruments you've got in there and what they're actually doing. So, And then you've, you'll find little bits and you're like, oh, I didn't even know that that one was there. Uh, let's bring in our bass, shall we? So that's generally in the pocket. I can hear a little few bits that are not in the pocket. At this point in the songwriting process... <laughs> Should, should go back and re-record. Are we going to? Probably not. Uh, so that sort of brings it there into the pocket. And then if we go, what we want to do is jump down to another section. So say we jump down here to uh, the chorus. Actually, that's the um, verse, but that's okay. Yeah, audio, Audible Video has a, uh, a good point here, that as we're mixing these lower, uh, I need to turn the volume up here of the track. So you can actually hear it because my voice is a little bit too loud. So uh, let's, uh, let's make sure we've got some more volume here. That's better. See, this is why we do these things live, because I get the direct live feedback of everything going on here. All right, so that's cool. The next most important thing that we have here is to bring our acoustic guitar in here. So we'll bring these in one by one. So we have our acoustic guitar on the left. Let's take a listen to that one. What have I done wrong? Why do I have no acoustic guitar playing back here now? <laughs> oh, because it's at zero volume, Johns, you fool. You foolish fool. Now that sounds super messy, right? Because we've messed around and we've added way too much echo and reverb here. So this is where sometimes soloing these things in can actually help you determine the problems that you've got here. So let's play that again. <coughs> yep, definitely way too much track reverb on this one. So we'll drop that down so that we've got a little bit less on there. Because sometimes the nice room just has too much of that on there and we don't want too much. Yeah, still too much of that echo. I don't think we need any of that echo. Let's just see. Yeah, so that's that's sort of in the ballpark. So we need to do the same thing to our other guitar here because uh, we want to have these as fairly matching across the two different ones. So there's that one, there's that one. And we'll do the same here with our track reverb to... Uh, to bring it down. I probably probably went, went down too far, so let's just bring it down to about 20% here. And you'll notice here that my mixing, I don't do a lot of changes. I don't use a lot of fancy plugins. I use the stock stuff wherever I can just because I think it sounds good. And uh, later on, we can sweeten it if we need to move to some other plugins. So let's, uh, let's bring this one up and let's see if we can find a good static mix so far. <laughs> So the one thing I'm hearing with these guitars is that they are sounding a little bit dark. And I, I did drop down the treble here, which I probably went a little bit too aggressively with because we probably just need a little bump down on the treble on the guitars. So we'll come back to these and we'll just adjust this. So just sometimes the guitars sound a little bit too twangy, but now that we've got two of them in there, I don't think we need quite as much EQ adjustment. <laughs> If 
if anything, there's potentially some uh, some frequencies there that are in, in the base that we may need to tweak. Um, and we may even just want to roll off a little bit of the low end here. In fact, what I'll do, uh, I'll add in my first uh, third-party plugin. Ooh, we're going to use LRC5. And yes, I use LRC5 and not 7 because I just still find it more easier to use. <laughs> because what we could do is just roll off uh, some of these lower ends here using LRC5. So let's just uh, do that on this one. We'll do the same over here. Just doing some very rough mixes here now because uh, we don't need it to be perfect. Oh, it doesn't have the thing there. All right, so we're just doing this. In fact, we need to go a bit higher up because where are we at? So that's at, that's at about 80 hertz there. So we'll uh, we'll do the same on our other one, shall we? Boop. We'll bring it down here, and we'll roll it off under eighty hertz. Because remember, everything under like eighty under eighty hertz is really just going to be sort of some weird bumps and knocks, and probably some buses driving past and things. So we often don't need those in our sound. So let's just uh, take a listen now. If we turn it back on. Hear how it's thinned it out? And look, we may not want to go that extreme. We may want to adjust that afterwards. But for now, we'll, we'll put that there because then when our bass comes in here in our kick drum, it's freeing up some space for those to sit in the mix. Take a listen. Turn it off. Yeah, exactly as Thomas Christ is saying here. Um, it, it, it brings the, the guitars up. It stops them from being so sort of low-endy, boomy that you don't particularly want in there. In fact, yeah, Audible Video said the same thing. It's keeping the guitars from being too boomy. Sometimes if you've got a big acoustic guitar sound, especially because the chords I'm playing here, remember, are an A minor, uh, an E, an F, and a G. So they're playing, most of those chords are playing a lot of that low E string. And that, even though that's not at 80 hertz, it, like when you're hitting that string, you're sort of hitting the body and you're, you're getting this sort of resonant sound that is going to uh, be able to be removed just by rolling off some of that low end. And you can use the visual EQ here, but as you can see, if I use that, it doesn't really roll it off properly. It kind of doesn't do the right sort of thing. And you can't change the Q setting on that one. So uh, as opposed to LRC5, what I could actually even do with this one is you can uh, pinch and actually change how steep it is and how shallow it is as well. So you can actually get more control over that. Oh, now I've got it up at 100 hertz. We'll just drop it down there, right about there. Uh, so I think that that's kind of coming through. If, you, if you're hearing things, by the way, and you've got ideas, that's what you're here for. You, that's why you're, you're watching this live. And if you're watching on the replay and you're like, Pete, you really needed to change that, then uh, yeah, let me know as well. Uh, let's play. <laughs> What do you reckon? I think it's sitting in there nicely. Okay, so let's bring in our other instruments now, shall we? We'll start with our uh, electric piano pad so that we can bring this in at the right level. We'll uh, hit play. Yeah. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, just to switch this around, so that I can use my solos properly, I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to switch it around to muting out. Because as you're soloing up, if you want to solo an instrument, you kind of run out of room to be able to do that. So we'll take all the solos off there, so that when we come back in here, we can actually just mute out our other instruments. So we'll mute out the organ and all the keys and the arpeggios and all the vox, because we'll bring these in at a later stage. So many vocals in this song. Taking up so much space. So that's all been muted, including our, uh, our new lead guitar, which I'm still not convinced on. All right. So uh, this electric piano pad is doing a bit of this, if you are just joining the fun. It's got a nice sort of stereo chorus effect on there, which I quite dig. So I'll probably leave it down the middle. We won't do any sort of panning on this because it's already bouncing from side to side. What may be cool on this though, is for, for things like this, you can use a little bit of a plug-in like wider to, uh, to give it a bit more stereo width. So if we come in here and we add 
uh, audio unit extension. We come down here to the wider by infected mushroom and you don't need to give it much. But even if we just dial this up, let's just take a listen and dial it up a little bit as we listen in. You'll see what it does. <laughs> you can get it really wide or just a little bit. We'll put it in around about that 24% mark. It just gives it a little bit more sort of width and a little bit more stereo feel to play around with. So if we listen to this uh, with, uh, with wider on and then take it off, back on. Just hear the, the additional width that you're getting with that. If we bring this back into our mix, then we can uh, hear it even better. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, as Peter's asking here, yeah, it's A, A, E, F, G in the chorus and A, E, F, D minor in the uh, verses. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple progression. We keep things simple around here where we can. All right. So let's go to the next one we need, which is the piano that we're bringing into the chorus here. This one, as we showed before, does a bit of this business. Uh, turn it up first. So this is going to be a louder instrument. So that one we did have to have up higher. This one, not so much. And I'm still not convinced as to whether the piano keeps going through those stops or whether we stop everything. Because again, we've got, a, we've got a virtual piano here so we can decide that later. So we might need to... Uh, Peter's saying, are you going to use Ravenscroft? Not yet, and I don't think I'll bother. The piano is not a key instrument here, and the grand piano here in GarageBand, I think, sounds pretty good. So we're probably going to leave it with that. But yes, of course, you could swap this out for a, a third-party AUV3 piano, like the Ravenscroft 275, if you wanted to. Let's take a listen to this organ sound that we brought in here. Oop. Yeah. So we need to just make a couple of adjustments here. And this is where we'll, we'll start being able to edit some of these because we haven't paid a lot of attention to the instruments that we'll, we've put in here. Uh, let's see. So you can see already that we've got a mistake there. We can just remove that one. And it seems to sound better when these are actually crossing over. You would have heard that there's a few little gaps there. So we'll just, um, we'll just fix these. That one just went a little bit too overlapped. And yeah, and again, we'll uh, we'll overlap that one with that one just to uh, make it sound a bit better. All right. So yeah, and we just need to do it. Uh, Dan saying the the grunge piano in the Felder pack is really cool. Let's let's try that in a moment. We, we could do some experimenting here with the arrangement because remember, even though you, you know you record and then you'll mix and then you'll like record, arrange, edit, mix, you can do everything at every stage. Like, and I know that you don't want to always be editing, but yeah, we'll we'll see. So let's bring all these in together and see how this instrumental is sounding now. <laughs> Just me, or does maybe this need to come up an octave? Maybe we've got a bit too much competing down there. Why don't we just try this? Settings, transpose up an octave, just to get a little bit more of that uh, that high end sound. <laughs> so. I think so. What do you reckon? That's got more of that crowded house kind of vibe with it up higher like that. Yeah. Now, we don't really have another sound here to make this go on the left or the right. So if I was having another pad set, what I could do is put the, the piano pad on one side and then the organ on the other side. 
I'm going to probably leave them both down the middle and probably even just use a bit of wider on the organ as well. So, uh... I think that sounds cool now. Is there a little bit too much percussive sound on that organ? Let's just come in here and take a look. I did like the fact that we had that percussive hit there. Uh, maybe even just the distortion needs to come down a little notch. And we've got it onto the third level percussion. Maybe we just we try the other, the second level. The percussion on an organ is just that kind of hit sound. Like when you hit a, when you hit a key, it makes that sound. Let's just adjust this and see. Turn it off. Yeah, I might go with the second percussion on that one. And obviously, we could spend a lifetime playing with the draw bars on the organ and trying to trying to tone it to the, exactly where we want it to be. And maybe we'll play around with that later. But for now, I think it's probably coming along pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, as Thomas says, that means that Picasso is on the third harmonic, by the way. Yeah, so we're now on the second harmonic. So, yeah, m maybe, I think it just has that percussive sound naturally. I thought you could turn off and on that, but maybe that's just the, um, the distortion level that I'm thinking that's creating that crunch at the start. Uh, well, we'll continue on because I reckon we're in the ballpark. So people were talking about this piano and they're, they're not liking the piano sound. So let's just see. Maybe it's got a little bit too much verb on there. It does have an awful lot of reverb. Maybe we'll just drop that down and put a little bit more of the delay on there. Uh, should we try it? We, we've had folks asking for Ravenscroft. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we give it a try here? So what we can do with uh, the Ravenscroft is we need to we need to create a whole new track, don't we? To, to move it onto uh, an audio uh, an external track. So we'll just do we have enough tracks left? I think we may have one more track to play with. <laughs> We're running super low on tracks here. All right, let's go to audio unit extension track. And we'll bring in the big hitters of Ravenscroft 275. Uh, so what we can do, we can just grab our piano track and put it onto this one. So we'll drag Ravenscroft. The reason I was trying to keep it kind of simple is that I may want to bring this over into... Um, into GarageBand Mac. And if I do that, I'm going to lose a lot of these things. So this may this may mean that we won't be mixing this on the Mac. We may be just mastering on the Mac and just doing everything else here in iOS, which is fine. You know that it's my comfort zone. It's my spirit animal here in iOS. So I'm going to be comfy. All right. Uh, so we've pasted that across there. Let's just uh, mute out that one and we'll take a listen to Ravenscroft in a minute. But first, we're going to save. Save out, come back in. Just so that we've got uh, all those changes we've made saved. Otherwise, we'll be out of so let's listen to the Ravenscroft. Not bad out of the gate, right? Sounding pretty good. Let's bring it back into our mix. Might be a bit too loud now through the Ravenscroft. So let's uh, just play this. Might be a little bit sharp, like the, as in a bit of a harsh sound. Let's come back over here to Ravenscroft and sample some of the nice like, pl presets that we have in here. So maybe uh, the concert piano might be a little bit nicer and softer. Is it just me or is for this song, are these pianos sounding a little bit too harsh? Maybe we need to uh, try some different ones here. Prometheus. Yes. Oh, wow. That's definitely got a different sound behind it, doesn't it? The Prometheus piano. Let's just listen to it on its own here. Uh, yeah, um, Audible Video here said it's got too much treble. And yeah, um, I've tweaked the treble setting on the, uh, on the app itself. So let's just see uh, what this sounds like. Maybe I need to go to a different piano. Which doesn't have that background. 
Maybe just the uh, concert piano. Yeah, no, that's too harsh. Maybe I do need the original one here, but I need to uh, fa turn down the trebles and give it a little bit more low end here. Let's just try this. Do -do -do -do. That's a bit better. And uh, cut the ray. Oh, yeah. Good point. We've already got the reverb on there. That's not doing anything. <laughs> we don't have the EQ on. I'm like, why is that not doing anything? Because we don't have the equalizer on. I'm like, I'm, I'm playing this around. That's a bit better. We don't want no treble, but because it's just a background. That's better. That that's in the ballpark of what we're looking for. I think. I think we're uh, we're we're getting closer. Let's uh, bring this back into our mix. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Peter says perfect. Audible video says noise, so I think that's pretty noise. We'll go with it for now. I'm the second guy who forgot to hit the power button. Oh, I forget to do a lot of things. When you watch this, people are like, oh, yeah, I'm watching you do this because I want to learn how to do it. I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you, you misconstrue. I'm showing you this so I can show you all the mistakes that I make and you can try and avoid them to save yourself some time. Um, all right, so we, we will leave out the, the piano there, the keys for the chorus. We'll just rename this one as uh, old at the start here, a bit like me, but old at the front, just so that we know that these are the ones. And in fact, we'll, we'll dump them to the bottom. And the reason I'm keeping these for now is that I may want to go back to it, but I think the Ravenscroft sounds a little bit better. And we, we can tweak it. You get much more control over the Ravenscroft sound as well. Let's go to our next one. So, uh, um, you know what? <laughs> We're going to have to duplicate out because we've got this second piano part. Now, do we have a track left? I'm, I'm living on the edge here, folks. I'm baffled that I still have enough tracks here. So let's bring this key into here. You know what? I'm just going to commit. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to commit to the Ravenscroft because I've still got the, the keys in there, the, the MIDI files. So I can change it back afterwards if I want to. But let's listen to what the Ravenscroft, because I've just duplicated that one. So it's going to have the exact same settings on the second one. And let's take a listen. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty full on, so I'll probably have to play around with it. I think I've got a bit of compression on here, which might... Oh, no, I don't have the compressor on. Okay. But it's a very full sound. So, again, I may just have to tweak the EQ once we get everything, including the vocals, back in this mix. All right. Uh, let's go to our arpeggio, which is this one here, and uh, take a listen to this. This one sounds like this. Like this. Now, with this one, I want it super wide and super spacey. So I'm thinking I want to use wider in a big, bad way on this one. And I know, wider, just use it on everything I do. Because I'm a creature of habit. Once I find something that I like and that works for me and works for the song, I just keep using it. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, we'll solo this one. And then we'll take a quick listen with the wider plugin. The good thing about virtual instruments, you don't get into trouble with wider of like phasing and weirdness going in there. So you can be a little bit more aggressive with a plugin like this uh, on a virtual instrument. So I might even stick it all the way out to like 80% on this one. That's with it on. Off. just kind of touching the edges a little bit there, isn't it? I, I kind of like it. Let's bring it back into our mix, shall we? Yeah, and as Audible Video is saying here, make sure the guitars and piano don't compete too much and drown everything else, which is kind of starting to happen. And this is kind of what I feared, is that sometimes when you build things up, you build them up and you make everything a little bit too loud. 
you, you don't you, – and sometimes you just have to start again and sometimes you just have to tweak things down because I think, um, yeah, the, the pianos and the guitars, once we bring these vocals in, it's all going to be very loud. There's going to be a lot of mid-range competition going on. So uh, we'll, we'll see how we go because that's the next thing we're going to do here is where we're going to bring the vocals back into the mix and see what happens. <laughs> this is always the scary part because the vocals uh, uh, can sometimes be quite overpowering. So uh, we'll grab our lead vocal. So that's this one here is going to be our lead vocal, our second take of vocals. So let's bring this back in here at the start and dial it up. The work in progress, nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just the work in progress. Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out. Nobody's knowing all they can. Yeah. So these vocals are going to cut through pretty loud. So let's take a look at the sound we have on this vocal and uh, what's already on here. Because we basically just used the lead vocal preset here and haven't really changed much around. So we'll take a listen. Um, not everything will go to plan. You might be set up or you might get fed up. Maybe just need a helping hand. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. So it's a little bit on the harsh side, which is why I was just turning a little bit down there. Now I've got this overdrive on here, which uh, I probably I, I, I like having overdrive on vocals, but it's probably the frequency there is probably a bit high, which is adding to that harshness. So if we turn off the overdrive, we're all just a work in progress. Turn it back on. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just. The work in progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. Nobody's knowing all they can. And just a little lighter on the compression. Not everything will go to plan. You might be set up, or you might get fed up. Maybe just need a helping hand. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. I don't know. It's getting to the point now where I look back on my original mix and I'm like, yeah, that's just probably slightly better. <laughs> Sometimes we fail, but that's okay. Uh, do you have something that shows the frequency distribution so you can carve out some space? Yeah, look, this is one of the biggest limitations of, uh, of GarageBand is that we don't, especially not on the master. We have no master track and uh, on each one. So you, you, we can look on each, um, each channel because the visual EQ actually does. I don't use it very much because I don't like to sort of mix with my eyes. I like to mix with my ears. But if you come in here to the vocal... We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, it's a big part of making music. The big part of making music is just trying things. And sometimes they'll work and sometimes they won't. So hopefully this is just giving you, even if I abandon this entirely and go back to my other mix, which is highly likely, uh, then at least you'll have seen what happens and how we can actually do this. So I, I think I do need to turn down the pianos for starters. Drop those down in volume. And we do need to drop down the guitars in volume because they're a little bit overpowering at this point. Just see if we can get a little bit more space. And I'll probably even put the the reduction here on my master track because I tend to put this on here just to bring everything down a bit when I've started mixing too loud. Just a little bit, just to bring it all together. So uh, let's let's just see what uh, what that change did. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. Nobody's knowing all they can. See, now those vocals sound like kind of too flat, don't they? They don't sound like they've got enough oomph. So I think putting that, uh, putting that overdrive down too low has kind of affected that. Not everything will go to plan. You might be set up or you might get fed up. Maybe just need a helping hand Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just... Alright, that, that's in the ballpark. Uh, let's grab this, um, this doubled vocal here. 
because this is uh, one that we wanted to add in for the chorus. We can delete out these ones here and just use this in this part. So we just go to where it comes in, to the we're all just a work in progress. Now with the double vocal, we want it to be underneath the original one. So if we go... Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it... Nobody's got it figured out. We all have doubt and things to know and learn about. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. Yeah, there's audible video sayings here. We, we need a little sparkle on the vocals in the high end. So we need almost like an exciter or something. Is there something along those lines that we can add in here? Should we get rid of the enhance? No, we'll get rid of the effect EQ. <laughs> we'll keep the enhance tuning just in case we, just in case we need that down the track. Um, what is something that we could probably use here to give ourselves a little bit of, a little bit of top end push? So there's nothing that I usually... I don't usually do that sort of thing here, but we could use... Um, Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll ponder that one. I'll ponder that. It may just mean may just need to turn it up a little bit on the uh, on the top end. There's so many options. Do you find that? Do you find that you get to this point and you're like, oh, too, I'm overwhelmed with things that I could do, and I just want to finish my song. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's easy. Uh, hello, Ashley H M. Uh, hello to uh, to Ed Zelinsky. Um, be careful with the tone control. It's basically just a high cut filter after the overdrive cuts everything above the frequency it's set at. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, uh, I don't use it very much at all for that for that reason. The FAC Exciter. Yeah, do I have that? Um, do I have that, Mark? <laughs> I should. If not, uh, maybe I'll just buy it because uh, Fred Anton Corvus does some good stuff. FAC. I don't have the Exciter. I thought I did, but I don't. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll we'll, we'll explore that uh, in in the future. Um, <laughs> I know the chorus is so in my head that it does my head in. Uh, uh, EQ is working. Cool. Yeah. I think just need a little bit of additional one. Uh, no more soul says maybe just feel that the kick drums are too, uh, maybe buried. All right. Let's, let's take a listen. Cause this is the sort of feedback that's good to get at this point in time. Just a work in progress. Oh yeah. The drums are missing now, aren't they? <laughs> this is the problem. When you start with drums, they sort of, uh, they can get buried. And this is where you sort of just start turning everything else back up and get it to this stage, but uh, we'll see. Nobody's knowing all they can. Not everything will go to plan. You might be set up, or you might get fed up. Maybe just need a helping hand. Because we're all just a work in progress. That's better. And our vocal is sounding good, but it's a little bit loud there. So uh, we've got our double vocal that we're working on here. Out when everything just feels so we don't need... Oh, what did I just do? Don't you hate it when you touch the screen and it does something weird? <laughs> uh, all right. So we can get rid of this again, right up to the next chorus, which uh, kicks in here. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured. Maybe the double goes right through this part because it kind of needs a bit more guts, doesn't it? With Nobody's got it figured out. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we leave that in there. Uh, all right. We're, we're kicking along. Hello, Kim Harden Hudson. Uh, hello, Jorge. Uh, mixing vocals becomes a headache for me. Hope this video helps me out. Maybe, maybe not. Mixing vocals uh, is probably one of the toughest. The voice is the toughest instrument to get right. So all we've done on this vocal so far is that we've given it a little boost up here at 6K just for a little bit of excitement. We've uh, dropped it down here in the middle and then we've pulled down the bottom end just using our very standard visual EQ just so that when our uh, vocals are playing like this. Nobody's knowing all they can. 
because my voice is kind of nasally and middling, I often need to just reduce down that and then give myself a little bit there and then cut the, the bass end as well. So that's the main thing we've done there. And we're, we're literally just using the stock reverb. And then I use a lot of this. I use a lot of the master echo and reverb on each track just to bring it all together. Uh, that's my tech, my basic technique as well. Anyway, uh, hello, Fed Low Max. Hope you are doing well as well. Alrighty, let's bring in our backing vocals because these kind of make the song, in my opinion. These uh, these backing vocals. So we'll we'll listen to these and we'll just make sure that they're the original tracks are sounding okay to start with. When everything just feels so hard, you need to strive and you'll go far. To grow up, but if you show up, you shine and they'll see what you are. Yeah, okay, so that's that's cool. Uh, and not that backing vocals don't matter because I absolutely do, but I don't tend to spend a heap of time making sure that the backing vocals are perfect because they're backing vocals. <laughs> so let's play this with the original vocal and see if we can get them in the mix, shall we? When everything just feels so hard you need to strive and you go far it's hard to grow up but if you show up you shine and they'll see what you are because we're all just the work uh i think that that one is I don't think that actually needs the boost at the top because it's sounding a bit too crispy because it's singing those higher notes. When everything just feels so hard You need to strive and you go far All right, cool. Let's go to our uh, our second vocals. The, these are the ones that do the do a little bit of this business. This one here. Coming in. Coming in for a landing. Oh, hang on. I don't have the volume up. All right, that, that's coming along. Let's bring in our next one. We'll, we'll move on a bit quicker here with some of these because this one here. We so we've got two of these now. No one is <laughs> I got a different word in each one. <laughs> we are we Sorry about how cool do those Ravenscroft pianos sound now? Yes, Peter and others who said put Ravenscroft on, even though I was hesitant to, listen to them. We definitely don't need the two vocals in that very last one. It's got to, uh, it's got to, nobody's got it figured out. Is that this bit here? Yeah, we need to get rid of the second one because it needs to be the one vocal doing the last bit. Sure. Uh, yes, yeah, as, as Peter said here, we need some uh, some panning on the vocals for sure. So I think I already had these panned, did I? No, that one's not panned. That one's not panned. I think we started panning down here. Yeah, we did. Um, so we need to get ma maintain some balance here. So this one here. When everything just feels so hard. That the one that goes right down the middle. And then we've got this one here, which is... So when there's only one vocal in there, we kind of need to keep them centred. Otherwise, it kind of sounds a bit weird to have 
too like unbalanced. Uh, let's bring in this one, shall we? This is the third verse backing chest. Here's why you hide trust in yourself, and you will see you're not alone. Because we're all just a work in progress. I love that stop there. Jade's drums make that little stop there work super, super well. Uh, so this is where we have these gang vocals. And this is where I'm going to ask you folks, if you want to, to join the fun. Uh, now, we've made the final decision that we want. So we can save ourselves some tracks here. And we're going to need to because we're going to need to bring some more in. And what we'll do is we'll bring this tracks up to here. Bump. Oh, get the right spot. And there. Because originally we were playing around with whether we have it say the whole phrase that second time. I have made a call. We're going to make it this, the whole phrase the second time. So let's uh, take a listen to these gang vocals. These are going to what we're going to sort of play out with. They do this. We're all just a work in progress. I like it. We're all just a work in progress. And you can hear the difference between the two takes. We're all just a work in progress which actually works in well with the mix. So this is where uh, we're going to get all of you folks, anyone that's interested, at the end of this video, I'm going to export out a, a version of this, a couple of WAV files, one that's just going to be those parts so that you can hear what you have to sing, and then one that's going to be the backing track to go over that. And that's what we're going to do. I know, we've got all the peats. Terrible, right? Uh, let's, uh, let's bring these gang vocals back into our mix, unmute them, and take a listen to how it's all sound. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out. We what we know, we all have time, the root to grow. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. I've changed my mind. I don't like the doubles on this last section. We may just need to turn up the volume of this vocal section. In fact, we'll do that now. We'll just use some clip gain. So we'll come in here, settings, and we'll just gain this up maybe 3 dB just to get a bit of additional volume coming through because we want it to be competitive with all these backing vocals that come in. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. Yeah, DJ Normal Norman saying uh, it definitely it definitely does have a little bit of frequency fight. There's so many vocals going on at the end there that they're all a little bit fighting for attention. So maybe what we'll need to do is um yeah, is play around, especially at that top end. We might just need to roll off some of the top end of um of some of the backing vocals. Mm, let me ponder that one. So where are we at? <laughs> Do we want any of this lead guitar sound? Should we, can, can you help me with this right now? So I recorded this lead guitar and I thought it sounded kind of cool here in the, uh, especially here in this uh, first verse section, because it does this. Right? Uh, all right, so we'll play this. Roll just the wagon. Yeah, I don't like that last bit there. And all this other stuff that I did in here, I really didn't like. It just feels so hard. You need to thrive if you... I think I was trying to, like, uh, harness my inner Stone Gossard from Pearl Jam. Go hard. Yeah, so, again, I wasn't super impressed. And then here... Nah, it's 
too harsh. I just don't like it. It's going away. Yeah, as Jade says, if you're keeping the lead thing, it's just an end thing, I think. I think it probably gels need to just come in for that final chorus. But there's so much going on in that final chorus. I don't know. Maybe it comes in for the second chorus and then back in at the final chorus. Oh, or maybe it just doesn't come in at all. Because <laughs> I think it might work in here with our second chorus. Let's just take a listen. Because we're all just a Yeah, uh, Ian says I can hear some harmonised guitars. Yeah, I played around with some of that, and uh, it's definitely possible. And I'm not—I know I make the excuse of if I have more time, uh, but I do have to—I <laughs> do have to draw the line somewhere. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up ruining it. Uh, Jade's idea here of just the second half of the final chorus. Yeah, maybe it just comes in here and is like our—it plays support here in the second half of the chorus. Oh, we've had our first—we've uh, had our first go away from uh, from reflector so there you go what has it lasted it's lasted 55 minutes that's pretty good all right i'm gonna un uh, i'm gonna unplug we're gonna reshare oh <laughs> audio extension unit quit when i unplugged the uh, audio interface that's always a good sign quick let's save all right i'm gonna save out i'm gonna come back in just so that we don't lose our progress don't want to lose our work in progress but again the importance what i just saved just then the importance of um of saving often and then having, uh, oh, where are we? There we go. Uh, saving often and then having a backup it, it can't be understated. Like, I know that it's boring to just spend time backing things up, but my goodness, does it save your butt when you have issues like that? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Use half of the solo and just as a just for a hit of emphasis. Yeah, maybe, and, and maybe it's maybe as, as Jade's saying, it's right at the end. <laughs> Thomas says, "I love the lead. I love the lead too." And again, if I if I had more time, I would probably spend more time making the lead sound really good. Uh, Mark says, "I like the lead's power chords not so much." Now the power chords were just a shocker. Let's bring this guitar up near our guitars, shall we, so that I can sort of see where it's sitting in terms of. <laughs> In terms of the mix, all uh, right. So, second half of the chorus, I think, is there. Let's just take a listen from here. We're all just the work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just the work in progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. We what we know. We all have time. The root to grow. Yes, we're all. I think that's where it sits. And maybe because it does the same thing as the... Because uh, the backing vocals do that sound in the second verse. So having it in the second verse doesn't really work, but maybe just there at the end. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it for now because we can change... We're not, we're not locked in here. We're not mastering just yet. We've got a few more days to just let this stew. Now, <laughs> the most important decision is uh, down here. Um, DJ Normal Normal Snare needs a little driving if you can. Yeah, I've got to try and remember. I wish Gary Hubs was still here. Uh, Jay might remember it. But what was the trick that Gary used to get a good, a, a more cracking snare sound? I'm going to have to watch my own video and then work out what it was. I think it, he did something with the EQ and with the distortion. Yeah. Uh, hard pan the guitar, as in uh, have it panned all the way on the right or the left. Or maybe I do one phrase left and one phrase right just to have something different. Mm. Yeah, treble and distortions, Peter's saying. Is that is that what I did? <laughs> is that what Gary uses? Yeah, let, let's just try this a little bit because uh, I can't remember exactly what he did with the, the EQ, but there was definitely some additional treble that, uh, that Gary likes to add. If we come in here to just the snare and just take a listen to the snare crack. Maybe it does need a little EQ up the top there just to snap through. 
pair because there it is down at 200 but maybe that just adds a little bit and then maybe we'll uh, add the distortion just a standard distortion here oh Jesus that's rough Uh, maybe a touch of reverb on the snare too. Yes, yes. And it needs a cut in the mids, I think. All right. Well, let's see. Look at this. We've got, we got, we got work in progress here. So we reckon cut it in the mids. Let's just bring it back here. Yeah, more of that ring. Yeah, we want to get rid of that, that poxy sound there, don't we? Around about there. And then the distortion around that mark looks good. And then, yeah, as Thomas says, we need some reverb. <laughs> it's hard to grow up, but if you show up, you'll shine and they'll see what you are. Because we're all just the work. What do we think? Is it a bit too much now? Have we have we gone a bit overboard with everything? <laughs> have we just dropped the distortion down, put the drive down to like two here, just so that it's not going too full on? And uh, I don't think we we're even using much compression on that. So um, yeah, uh, it is a work in progress. So we'll continue trying. Nobody's Definitely kicking through though. There we go. Uh, Kim said, "Go make it more a U shape on the uh, on the visual EQ." So you reckon having more of a more top end and and low, less mids um, and adding to? Well, we don't really want to add there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm overdoing it, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> we can come back and tweak afterwards because we got more stuff to get to, don't we? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What we we're talking about. Do you like this little crosswalk sample that I made? I like it, but I don't know if it needs it in the song. So I, I recorded this at like a little crossing. Um, uh, oh, you're not going to hear it because it sounds like this. I don't know if I ever want to hear it, if I want that in the mix. It's not in the right timing either, but it kind of sounds all right when it's in the mix. Take a listen. It's uh, just a little bit of a change and a break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I hear it, it just makes me laugh. And I think someone would just go, what's that? I don't know. Got it figured out when everything just feels so hard. Maybe I'll sort of distort, not distort it, but maybe I'll just make it swim in reverb and then just make it a really weird kind of sound and just to, just to hide it there in the mix somehow so that I'll know it's there and other people will be super confused by it. Oh, let's see. Maybe not that much, but <laughs> uh, maybe just the last three. Yeah, well, the first one's out. The first one you can't hear, and it's um out of beat sequence anyway, isn't it, Mark? So let's just, oh, delete them all. Undo, undo. Highlight just the one and delete that. And then come in here. Yeah, I like it. It's just dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it. I don't care what anyone says. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I love it when I'm having this fight with myself and everyone's like, sure, Pete, wh whatever. No one, no one cares. What are you talking about? Uh, but I'm like, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to get rid of this stupid power chord thing that I did here because I don't want that at all. All right. How close are we? Are we, are we, getting, are we getting there? Are we further along? Let's just save out and see and bring ourselves back in and see how we go. Yeah, exactly, Ian. A little little Easter egg in the mix. Just And it's something that I'll think back to this because that was me crossing, uh, for those that know Adelaide, North Terrace. Um, Jay, we, when you were with us and we had delicious noodles at that noodle bar that's now closed in the casino, and then we walked across the road to have a, to have a rum and a scotch. <laughs> Sound like real like low levels, don't we? Uh, 
yeah, we were crossing that road and it's just that sound. And because that's a place in the city that I like to hang out, it, it's going to remind me of this. And this it'll remind me of this year. Every time I hear that beep, 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 it'll mean nothing to anyone, but it'll mean something to me. And I think music's got to, got to mean something to you and, and you've got to have fun with it more, more so than make things perfect. Uh, Ace of BT said, I could probably get that crosswalk beep in higher quality. The walk sound of an Australian crossing made its way into a 2019's top song. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, if you don't know that story, um, Phineas, oh, so Billy Eilish and her brother Phineas, who's her producer, Billy Eilish, when she was in Sydney, actually recorded a crosswalk. This is where I kind of got the idea. So the boop, 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 boop in the background of, um, they sped it up and they changed the pitch, but in the background of uh, Bad Guy, that boom, 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 there's a boop. And that's it. That's what it is. <laughs> Mark says, your show, your song. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here. So where are we at? All right. We're at the one hour and five mark. So I'm going to play this and we're going to have a listen. Then I'm going to go away and do some admin because what I'm going to do next, because we're not quite done here. Remember these gang vocals? Yeah. I'm going to, uh, cr I'm going to export another version of this, which is just going to be the wave file of, of that part of the song or my, I don't know we'll think about that you can help me decide what we do with that but I want to provide a file that I can put up onto Google Drive you folks can download and then you can record your own gang vocal and send it on back to me uh, and so we'll listen through to the song once We'll do the admin to give my ears and your ears a break from the song for a little while, and then we'll come back and we'll listen to it uh, one more time. Uh, Crosswalk Cowbell. I think, is there a cowbell sound somewhere in Garage Fang? Does anyone remember? Do we have any kit that has a cool cowbell? Because in that final chorus, I wouldn't mind a cowbell on the one and the three, the tunk, tunk, because more cowbell, right? Uh, but does anyone remember off the top of their head if one of these percussion kits actually has a cowbell in it? Like maybe the studio percussion kit? any of these have a cowbell? Uh, no. I'm just going to have to get a cowbell sound, aren't I? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll tackle that first. Let's have a listen through, and then uh, maybe we'll go to somewhere like um, freesound.org and see if we can find a cowbell. Uh, if anyone finds a cowbell in the meantime and wants to send me a link and save us some time, go for it. Uh, there's loads in the house kits, uh, says DJ Normal Norman. Yeah, right. Let me know. Uh, if, someone can, if someone can track one down... Let me know uh, and we'll get a bit of that going on. All right, let's 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 listen through to this track now. This is uh, about as close to a finished track as we've got so far. We obviously need to do some automation and some trimming and some final editing, and then uh, we'll go there. <laughs> there's, isn't there a more cowbells out, Mark? I think there's something like that. Uh, the Latin kit has one, says Acer BT. All right, and there's a cowbell groove in Apple Loops. Yeah, I don't, need, I don't know about a groove. I might have to use a loop if I can't do that. We'll try the Latin kit and then we'll try that. that. But let's listen to, through to this and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll add some cowbell at the end. Uh, yeah, the uh, audible video is saying the crosswalk is being used like a cowbell. Exactly. Because we're all just a working... Right, let's, uh, let's trim. Now we're getting to the serious end. We can start trimming these. Remember, leave them on a notch. So make sure that you've got them. So I've got this one at an eighth note before it comes in. And for my vocals, I've got these right on there on the, the quarter note. So, And we'll probably have to just automate up that volume so we don't get too much of this breath uh, at the start. Let's take a listen. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out Nobody's knowing all they can Not everything will go to plan You might be set up Or you might get fed up Maybe just need a helping hand Because we're all just so I can progress Need more crash. Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out We all have doubts and think to know and learn about Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out Yeah, yeah. everything just feels so Uh, listening to this now, the electric piano pad can be down the middle there, but I think we need to 
spread these out, uh, oh, then the organ comes back by itself, doesn't it? I think we just need a little bit more, a um, little bit more stereo room here. So I'm just going to duplicate, <clears throat> excuse me, duplicate that out there and bring this one down so that I can pan it because I want this one there to be panned. Now that we've got a few tracks back to be panned sort of half, actually, yeah, I'll put that on the left and then I'll put this organ here pan sort of half out to the right. So it's just sort of hanging out there so that these ones here, we have a little bit of that. When everything just feels so Yeah, a bit more width. Go far. It's hard to grow up, but if you show up, you'll shine and they'll see what you are. Because we're all just so I can I actually don't mind this organ coming up on the right there a little bit. It's slightly imbalanced for a moment, but it kind of draws your attention over a little bit. Is why you hide trust in yourself and you will see you're not alone because we're all just the one. I'm sorry, but every time I hear that, I am so happy that uh, Jade is awesome and did these drums because that stop came out exactly as I had planned. And so I'm going to I'm going to be self uh, self flagellating here and listen to that <laughs> listen to that one again. Because we're all just the one. It's these um, these ones here that are a bit harsh, isn't it? So they're nice, but I think we we all still learn. So we need to just um. No one is perfect. We just need to soften them a little we bit with some EQ. We all still learn. No one is perfect. <laughs> they're saying different words. <laughs> Bit too much extremity. No one is perfect. I love the sound of a DAW when it plays out that last little bit. So we may need to try it because look, I wanted it to be this way. I wanted it to be like a a line up where everything sort of goes through and gets more full on. But the end is just a little bit punchy and a bit too much. And the problem's going to be is that when we add in these gang vocals, it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit too intense. All right, let's come back to to the end. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the, the the guitar just sitting under there is quite nice. I think, um, did I, did I move this snare? Did I try and locate, oh no, it's still pan down the middle. 
uh, it, we've got a little bit of a push over to the left and it's usually when the snare is hitting. So I might just try and pan this snare just to get a slightly more balanced sound here, like at the end. The guitar lead can sit lower. Yeah, it's definitely. I think I turned it up before to, uh, to show it, to hear it. And then now it's too loud. Nobody's got to figure it out. There we go. Uh, Timothy, I can't figure out why Pete had another track armed when he was recording his guitar. Right, so the reason for that, let's just see if we have enough tracks to show you this. So let's just say that we're recording a guitar. We'll go to the guitar amp here. What we want to be able to do is uh, if we have a second track here, so we create another vocal track, for instance, if you've got two tracks like this, you can actually set both of them to record. So say we set this guitar track, and I know most of you have seen this a few times now, but in case you're new to this, what I'd do is I'd put this one onto input number two, turn the monitoring off, and then come over to my guitar that I was recording, and then this one I would put, say, on input one, have the monitoring on, and then I can actually record in on this screen. So the difference being that if I if you came in here and you hit record to record on this, take a look at what it does. Figured out. Nobody's knowing all then it's going to show on that screen. And you can't see your sections to play along to. Whereas if we undo that, and we simply went here and added this second dummy track when you record, Figured check it out. out. Nobody's knowing all. So yeah, so that's that's how that's how and why I do that. So we'll just delete those out. In case you were wondering, it's just it's the two track hack because it just makes it easier to record when you've got a you need a two channel audio interface though when you do that. All right. Let's work out how we're going to share this and uh, who's in, by the way. And if anyone wants to do it in the next, I'm here for another 45 minutes. I can send it to you. Anyone wants to try it and be our guinea pig. We'll, we can do it here live so, and then uh, I'll give you, I'm going to have to give you only 48 hours to do it. So anyone that wants to be part of these gang vocals, we're going to mix them all into a big backing vocal and then we'll sort of move them around a little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll put them all back into the mix as like an extra sort of wide stereo file. Okay, so we're going to save out of here and we're going to create a new track here. Guess what? Work in progress number 15. Uh, but instead of this, we're going to call this work in progress uh, gang. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll cut. So I know that this is the one I'm using for the gang vocal thing. So what we need is we, we don't need a lot of these sections, right? We just want to do it from, from uh, this. So we need this I and H section, but we don't need any of the other sections in here. So haven't done this in a while. Let's just see, does this work? Can we just delete out all these sections and will all the stuff in them just go away? I think it will, but we're about to find out. We're experimenting here. This is uh, experimentation at its best because all we need is these last 21 bars. I don't need to share anything else. So, boom, 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 boom. All right. That seems to have worked, I think, because everything was split out nicely. So let's just play this. Just so all right. So we're going to come in here to all sections so we get that first. So what you're going to get in this file is... Because we're all just the work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to export two versions. One is going to be everything that you can sing along to. So you can just sing your gang vocals. So it'll ha not have the gang vocals. It'll be like this. Because we're all just the work in progress. And the other version is going to just have these. So it's going to be like this. We're all just a work in progress. And then these bits. Just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. We're all and yeah, as uh, Peter's saying, no scary gravelly metal voice though, right? No, if we could keep, because it's a backing vocal, we need to keep it melodic. We don't really want any... Just a work in although, although... <laughs> I just ruined my voice. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just seeing Jade there with a the notepad. It's just like, oh, growls, uh, one screams. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get in there. So what we need to do is export two versions of this song as WAV files. So 
Uh, we've got 21 bars here. That's what's going to export out here. We're going to do just the gang vocals to start with. So we're going to X out of here. And what we need to do to do this is tap and hold and share. So we're going to share this file. We're going to share it as a song. Now I don't, here's the thing. We don't really need it as a as a full WAV file at this point in time because you, you're not going to be using any of these apart from to sing along to. So maybe to make the downloads quick, you'll need to send me a WAV file when you send it back. But do we just make them, do we just make them a, uh, an M4A file? No, look, we'll go wave. We'll go wave because that's going to be compatible. If you're using it on a PC or something, you don't want to have to fuff, fluff about <laughs> with things. And it's only going to be a small file because it's only 21 bars. All right, I've answered my own question. Uncompressed wave file, we're going to share that one out. So this is the soloed version of this one that we have here. What I'll do is I'll just chuck these over. We'll do the open in. We'll just chuck them over into audio share just to check them. And then we'll, uh, we'll go. Oh, yeah, and that's a good point, Kim. Will it matter if we say progress and figure? <laughs> so just a work in progress. Nobody's gonna figure it out. Figured, figured out. <laughs> I don't know. It's whatever, whatever. And look, I I make no promises. Let me say right now, I make no promises that uh, if I get it and it doesn't work and we have to abandon it, please don't feel sad. But maybe I'll release a, a separate version that's just the the studio live today choir singing. <laughs> Singing just a separate version of it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and uh, singing in an Australian accent. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can try. You can try. You are all just a work in progress. You can try singing like me. <laughs> but we'll find out. We'll find out in a moment. So we're going to export that one, and we'll flip it on over to Audio Share, because that just makes audio simpler. There it is. So here it goes. It's going to be this. We're all just a work in progress. And of course, because GarageBand is GarageBand, it has, of course, auto-normalized it, which is great. Uh, all right, we'll come in here. We'll just rename this one. So this is work in progress, uh, and we'll put bracket, uh, gang vocal, vocal only. There you go. We've got a nice, nice juicy wave file. Look, it's only 15 meg, so it's not going to be huge uh, for these files. We'll come back. And now we'll go back into this work in progress gang file. And then this time we will mute those two. And you're going to have everything else in there, including Joe's Epic Drums and everything else that goes along. And uh, we'll come out again and we'll, we'll re-export. This is fun. I've never quite done anything like this before. So it's a good reminder of how to get things done. Share, uncompressed wave, and uh, open in. And we'll bring it over into audio share. My Australian accent is limited to me saying "good eye, might" and pretending that that counts. Yeah, it doesn't. We don't show. Uh, we don't show shrimp on the Barbie either. Um, the tempo is one ten. Uh, the tempo is eighty four. I think eighty four BPM. Yeah. In fact, thank you, thank you, Lone's Wolf Echo. Yeah, I need to put the tempo in the uh, in the file name. That is very poor form of me to not do that out of the gate because whenever you are sending files to anyone for any purpose, put the BPM in the file name. Otherwise, they're going to be guessing. And if they do it at 85 and yours at 84, then there we go. Uh, how will we get to this Facebook, YouTube community? I'm going to put it on Google Drive and then I'm going to update the description of this video with a link to the Google Drive document. That way, anyone on or off of Facebook or anywhere in the world can uh, grab the file and then can just email me back a link to a WAV file and we'll download them and chuck them in. So that's the easiest way, I think. I don't want to make don't want to make life difficult for people. All right, so here is the other version. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured. All right, so this one is backing track for the gang vocal. So we'll tap and hold. We'll rename here. Work in progress, uh, and we'll call this backing only, and then we'll go dash 84 beat bytes per minute, <laughs> beats per minute, beats per minute. Uh, we'll come to this one, we'll tap and hold, and we'll rename, and we'll tap, and we'll go to the end, da -da 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 -da, dash 84 BPM. All right, so we've got our two files there, two WAV files, they are both 15.1 megabytes, which is cool in the hood. Um, I'll just, I'll put them in a Google Drive 
folder. I won't zip them up because they're only WAV files. They'll be compatible just being straight in there. So we'll do that now. I'll just I'll jump over here just while I do this because um, sometimes when I log into Google, it asks me for passwords and things. And I've already tried to um, tried to record myself um, putting my password in once this week. I don't want to do it again. All right, uh, let's uh, let's go in here. Do I have a Studio Live Today folder here in my Google Drive? I think so. Oh no, I just have individual folders for things. That's right. We'll uh, we'll create a new one. So I'm gonna go to. I can probably show you this now because. Uh, it's not anything secret. So I just use the Google Drive app. You can use files. I find that this way it works more effectively. So I'm going to hit the plus button here. We're going to upload, upload like this. It wants us to do photos, but if you go browse, you can do any other file you like. And we want to go to our audio share files folder. And I think we have to do the one by one because of course we do. Can we just search, just sort this via, via date, not size, date, date. There we go. There's our two files. So can we draw a box? No. <laughs> we have to select that one. So that's the, the top one there is uploading. We'll grab the second one. We'll upload into here. And we'll go browse. And we'll go that one there. That should both upload there. Let's create a new folder here, shall we? That I can give you guys access to. And we'll call this, not surprisingly, work in progress. So I've got a work in progress folder there. And then when those are uploaded, which they now are, we should be able to uh, select. Oh, that's just going to play it. That's all right. Uh, geez, I haven't used this for a while. Can we just, oh yeah, if we tap and hold, it'll, if we tap these little buttons, they'll select. And then we'll drag them in to our work in progress folder. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> How do I do that then? Move. There we go. <laughs> move them, my drive. Work in progress. There we go. And move them there. Yes, come on, Google Drive, get your stuff together. All right, so I've now got this folder here. There it is. Uh, we should be good to go. So what I'll do now, again, I'll just jump out here in case it asks me for anything weird. I'm going to tap the little three dots there, and we're going to go share. <clears throat> we're going to share this, and what I'm going to do is go to my share options here. Oh, hang on. We need to make it public, don't we? This, this bit always gets me because there's a few there's ways you have to do this, and it's particular how we do it. Uh, blah, 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 copy link. All right, so I've copied the link, but I need to also share. I need to share it. Manage people and links, I think that's what we do. Uh, restricted. No, we don't want that. We want to change it. So anyone with the link can get it. All right, so we've changed it to anyone with the link. So over here, see, you've got link settings, anyone with the link. Viewer, yeah, so we only want viewer. Uh, we don't really want anyone to be able to edit my uh, Google Drive. So the link settings are set so that anyone with the link can get it, uh, anyone in the world. And all you need to, all we need to do now is copy the link to this folder. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Where is it? Uh, ba -ba 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 share. Uh, no, that one. Copy link. So I've copied the link there to my clipboard here. And uh, what I can do is I'll jump over to my, on the iPad here, I'll jump into my YouTube and then I'll add it in here. So we're going to go to the YouTube studio app. You get to see behind the scenes of what's going on. And uh, hopefully because we are live here at the moment, I can go into this particular live stream here in my YouTube studio when we get there. Uh, no, I can't, can I? Ugh, YouTube making life difficult again. I'm going to have to go through Safari. We'll get there. It'll be easier if I... Oh, you know what I can do? Can't I just paste things over onto my Mac? Doesn't doesn't this have the ability to do that? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it does. Hello, Apple. There you go. If you're watching here on Facebook or YouTube, I've just pasted the link to that folder on uh, in the chat. So you can uh, take a look at that one there. And now I can just update, because uh, I've got the link here, I can actually update it in the YouTube here. So bear with me just one moment. We're just going to view YouTube. Uh, we're going to get some feedback into the audio for a moment. And then I'm going to update the description of this one so that uh, just below the, the first thing there, I'm going to put this uh, drive in here. So uh, sing vocals on this song. Uh, so I'll put sing backing vocals. I don't want anyone to get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> singing backing vocals on this song and then uh, I'll put a link to the drive there and we can leave that there for the time being I won't be there forever obviously because once this couple of days are done it'll be over and I might even do a separate video after I've done this one I might do a quick separate video and just explain what we're doing here and show what it is so that is now saved in there if anyone who is here live wants to give this a go and wants to be the guinea pig uh, and try it out, 
then let me know. I'm just going to go to this drive link here on my particular Mac here and make sure it's working and make sure that anyone's going to be able to jump in there. We'll go to the drive. There they are, the two WAV files. Yep, beautiful. So you can go ahead and download those directly from my Google Drive and then you'll get there. Uh, uh, iCloud and iCloud Drive are different. Yeah, the, yeah, there's di differences there. Um, uh, and you can't, yeah, you can't delete anything from your iCloud Drive. It's it's a it's a painful thing. Uh, Gary's yoinked it. That'd be cool. Hopefully, yeah, uh, we get some Gary on there. Download it easily. Perfect. Excellent. So, uh, chipmunk preset. <laughs> Give the chipmunk preset a go. Why not? All right. What what else did I say that I had to do here today? I thought I was going to do something else. So we're going oh, we're going to come back again. We're going to do the cowbell. So while you folks uh, go and have a quick play with that and throw it into a project. Remember, just throw it into any project in any door, 84 BPM, record your vocals. And then when you export, want to send them back, make sure that you just send me a WAV file of just that vocal. I don't need my own track back, just, just the vocal. And then we'll just slot them all back in and see how we go. All right, let's go back to work in progress number 14, shall we? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm confused when downloading things. If if anyone wants a it wants a quick me to do a quick demo, in fact, I'll do that real quick here. So if, if you're watching on the replay and you're just seeing this, if you want a quick demo of how we actually download it, I'll jump over to Safari because the easiest way to do it is in Safari. So let me just go to Safari, make sure I've closed out of any tabs of anything that I've got open over there. And what we're going to do, I'll just go to Google.com just so that we're somewhere else. Uh, but, oh. <laughs> Google, I'll go to google.com and it gave me the stock price of Google. It's like, we're doing quite well, actually. Thank you for asking. Uh, but instead, we want to actually go to the link that we had before. So we'll tap, we'll paste and go. So this should take me to Safari poster from the Mac Mini. So this will this will be where it comes into here. If you want to download these, we should be able to just tap and hold, I think. Oh no, up the top, you get the options. So if you click on that one or tap on one of these in your browser, so we're just here in Safari, tap the three dots and then come down to download, the very bottom one here. And it will just go and in, uh, engage the Safari download manager here in iOS, which is the easiest way to do it. So we'll hit the download button there. That'll download just that one. And then we'll click this again and we'll go three dots. Oh, hang on. Why is it not? Three dots, download. And then that will again engage the download manager, hit the download button. And that just downloads them up here directly into your downloads folder. So if we just tap on one of those, it comes straight in here. And so it goes away and plays that. And then if you want to know where it sticks them, it sticks them right here in your files folder, in your, sorry, in your downloads. So under downloads there, there you go. Work in progress, work in progress. So if you wanted a quick way to get that uh, happening, that's the way you can do it. Uh, can and should I EQ it? Yeah, I, we don't have a whole lot of specific. Yeah, go ahead and EQ it. I, I probably won't spend a lot of time separately EQing. So get it sounding how you want it to sound, Kim, and then uh, send it on through just as a WAV file and we'll play with it if we need to tweak a few things. Uh, it'll it'll more be just to, to, as an experimental thing and because it's sort of sitting in the background anyway, I'll just, I'll spread them out and then I'll just sort of mix all a whole bunch of them in. Assuming we get a few, we may not, but uh, we'll see how we go. All right, more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in and go back to this project and uh, see if we can uh, see if it's going to work to get some cowbell into that last one. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we customize it? You go your hardest. You send me. I, I make no promises. I don't guarantee that I'm going to put use any of it. <laughs> So go your hardest. See what you can add in there. Um, I'm, I'm happy with uh, some flair, but yeah, it, it's got to blend in. If it stands out, then I'm not going to use it. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go into uh, now. Who, what, what kits did uh, did folks say? I think the Lin drum was one, and there was one of the percussion kits that someone said that had a cowbell. Uh, if someone can remind me of what those were, that'd be awesome. Uh, percussion was it the? No, it was one of the. One of the recently downloaded kits? Was it one of the songwriter kits? Someone said that one of them did. Was it one of the songwriter ones? Or actually was it an electronic kit that had the cowbell? I can't remember. Uh, da, 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 da. Latin kit. Latin kit, says Thomas. All right. What is that? Is that just under acoustic? Or is it under percussion? Latin percussion. Latin percussion. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's not bad, is it? 
A little bit of tone up there. Yeah, maybe. Uh, ACBT says, if for some reason you need a loop, one of the percussion drummers in the Apple loop has a pop cowbell loop uh, that's just for quarter notes in a bar. Cool, yeah, and I think um, DJ Normal Norman said that there's another one that does. We'll try it here with this percussion and see if this is going to be the cowbell. Is this the cowbell you're looking for? And this, uh, we'll see if it works in here at the end here, so. Because we're all young. Tink, 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 tink. Let's see. Let's see if we get a more, have some more cowbell in here. I'm just going to have to use my thumb because it's uh, going to be a bit hard to play otherwise. Because we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got... All right, we only need to record it once through because it's literally just going to be the same all the way through. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, uh, three, oh, four. So we'll turn it up here and we'll just uh, loop it out for the rest of this and we'll see what it does, hey? We're all just a work. It's very much in the background. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's yeah. got it. Nobody's got it figured out with what we know. Stop it there, because we don't want it to be in that. Yeah, maybe increase the velocity, I reckon. Let's find out. This is why it's good when you only do four, because we only have to change these four notes if we did want to change the velocity. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bump it up a wee bit, shall we? Oh, see, I don't like this velocity setting thing. Every time you go off of it, it goes away. So you get that kind of sound there. That might be a bit too intense. I think we need that sound, but we'll just make sure that we've got some consistency here. Come on, Garage Band. There you go. Patrick Moonbird, welcome back. What have you been working on, Patrick? Uh, I haven't, we haven't had a submission for uh, Your Music Live for a while from you, my friend. I think you need to get on that. All right. I think that's it. Or maybe maybe do we... Maybe we're going to tink, 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 tock. Maybe we... Maybe we make this last one louder, just for some variation. Come on. <laughs> it keeps falling. Oh, goodness me. It's a mouse. No, nah, I'm going to use my finger. When you're using a mouse like that... You move the mouse, and it just says, no. Let's just go with this. Is this going to work with the last one being a talk? We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. With what we know, we all... More cowbell, you reckon? I think more cowbell for the win. Uh, all right, you go. Oh, Mark's got uh, both tracks set in GB, ready to roll. Excellent stuff. Well, yeah, like I said, we're here for 23 more minutes. So if anyone records one, let me know. Uh, send me a message or, uh, oh, by the way, email me, uh, studio Pete at studiolivetoday.com if, if and when you actually do one uh, with a link to somewhere on iCloud Drive or Google Drive. You won't be able to email the direct files, uh, the file, but uh, yeah, send me send me that. Um, I better update that. Uh, sing back and version of the song, blah, 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 then send to Pete at studiolivetoday.com. All right, so I've updated the description of this one. And what I'll do also, I can't do it because I'm live. I'll, uh, I'll put this here in the pinned comment here on the live, and then after we go, we finish going live, then I'll uh, put that in the, uh, the, the, the pinned comment at the top of the actual show. So there you go. You can sing backing vocals on this song. Go to the Google Drive and then send to me. All right. Sweet. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Patrick Moonbird says, I've been, uh, have been, I've been doing so much lately. I've just finished playing my first live show. Awesome. Great stuff. Appreciate it. Uh, guy says, g'day. G'day, guy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, ACBT, for some reason, this won't work. Both the TR8 at 708 and 727 have one. Yeah, well, well, I kind of like it. I kind of like the, the Latin because I wanted more of a realistic. I know that the Lin drum and some of those have like a cowbell type sound. But to me, this Latin cowbell uh, works the best.
Yeah, tick it along. I like it. I uh, won't record till tomorrow morning, about 10, 12 hours. That's fine. So, yeah, you got to, you got 48 hours. The clock's ticking because uh, actually probably got a little bit longer than that because we're Thursday here. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. I'm not doing a show specifically tomorrow, but I'll be continuing to work on this song and do some other things because I'm, uh, I'm actually recording a podcast. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing two things. I'm, re- I'm meeting with Retrieve, who are the course provider I use because finally going to get together the advanced garage band course to go with the beginners garage band course that I released uh, last year and uh, then I'm doing a podcast with the great John Kell uh, the song surfing podcast and that may or may not be featuring a couple of artists that you are uh, that you see here in the chat which is pretty darn cool so uh, that's all to come uh, right where, where are we at here now we're, we're, I'm going to I'm going to just do a little bit more mixing so we're going to listen through now that my ears have recovered. We're going to listen through to uh, this track again. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put uh, put my microphone down so that you don't hear it back, and then I'm going to uh, play through my speakers. You'll still hear the same because it'll just come through the mixer, and I'll turn my mic down so you won't hear any of that. But we'll play through the song. If you're hearing things as we go, I may stop it and just make some changes, but. I'll probably just tweak as we go along here, and uh, as you are, uh, as you're listening, I'll be listening, but on my speakers. So we're going to turn on the speakers. My little, uh, these are my. You can still, so you can already hear. We couldn't have this because you'll start getting some feedback come through. Because I'm using the uh, little Presonus Iris 3.5s. So I'll turn down my mic, and then I'll play and take my headphones off, which I can do there. And then uh, we'll play through, and I'll take a listen on the speakers because it's important to listen on different devices. Let's take a listen. Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out Nobody's knowing all they can Not everything will go to plan You might be set up Get fed up Maybe just need a helping hand Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out We all have doubts and think to know and learn about Yes, we're all just a work in progress Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out With what we know, we all have time The root to grow Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out
Okay. Oh, turn off that. Turn off that. Uh, so there's a couple of things. You might have seen me uh, getting excited and thinking to do something there. Um, I need to do a little bit of stereo panning on one of those, one of these backing vocals. This one here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Uh, except we're going to need extras, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to need yet another track. Oh, we'll see. All right, we've got enough. Uh, so we'll leave this one as just being down the middle. But um, where are we? This is where not having automation of panning is a pain in the butt because we can't do this. But let's leave this one as down the middle. And then this one can be left and this one can be right. Because what I want to do, I just had a, a little idea in here as we went along that I wanted to, with these two, make them sort of move between the two because I think this could actually be cool just for a little bit of variation here on this um, on this little backing track. I'll show you what I mean. It'll take a moment, but we'll have one of these left and then one right, and then these will kind of jump sideways like this. So if we bring this one in here, so this one will put sort of halfway to the left, and then this one will put halfway to the right. And then I think we're going to be able to get something like this. reckon is that cool and then do we do it with this one here as well or do we because we've got the uh we've got the two here maybe we can't do that now we all still learn. yeah because now we can have this one on the left and the other one on the Nobody right is... yeah so this one can all go down to this left track uh oh we've <laughs> we've messed it up anyway so that's the left and that's the right is it yeah, that's the one we've gone left and that one's right. So just forget that that extra track's there. We can just do this anyway. Because that one will always be the left. And in fact, we can just bring this one and make this one on these tracks to make that on the right. Don't worry. We don't need any extra tracks at all. Because these two are kind of complementary. So we can put those on the right there. And then this one will always be on the right side. There ain't no side like the right side. Yeah, let's see how this works. So with this one, it'll do this kind of uh, left and right thing here. We are still so that sits on the left. No one has All right, we just got to match these um, sounds because this is swimming in reverb on this one. Uh, so we need to make sure that they're kind of the same. That's better. Perfect. We we all have time and room to grow as we're all jump the wagon progress. Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out. Alright, let's uh, try this one here. We're all jump the wagon progress. Yeah, that's cool. No. And it's, it's, a, <laughs> I heard that cowbell. It's actually helping with that load because there's all those medium, uh, mid frequencies right down the middle. So pushing these out, we could even push them all the way. Do we just go with a bit of LCR and push them all the way? Or what? It, well, maybe not all the way, maybe almost all the way, just so that when you're listening in mono, you at least hear it. All right, maybe something like that. Let's just try this again. <laughs> Because we're all jumped, so I can't progress. Right Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all jumped, so I can't progress. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. What we yeah, that's that's where it needs to be. And then here at the end, listen. We're all jumped, so I can't progress. Nobody's got yeah, it figured got out. Yes, we're all jumped, so I. Uh, Jay tells me to check my messenger, which means she may have cracked. Out some vocals. Would we expect any less? Now there is one thing here. It's not Jade's fault. It's entirely mine. But I slowed down here with the vocals and the guitar at the end. So I think there's one crash that I didn't sing to her crash, and then I now need to move her crash to make it line up with my notes. So let's just take a listen. Nobody's got it figured out. 
Yeah, so it's this one. Because I did a slight slowdown there at the end, Jade is right on the grid perfectly, but I need to just shift this and shimmy it to match my slightly delayed final note. Wait, is that the... No, that's the kick, but it's the crash as well, isn't it? Uh, hang on. We'll undo that. We'll just get the crash lined up. Uh, Thomas is close to sending one too. Awesome. Uh, right, where is our... It's this final crash, isn't it? On the Nobody's got it figured out. So it's on both of the crashes and the kick. So let's um, let's just find the spot for the kick first, and then we'll, we'll line it all up here. So I reckon we can just move it. It's only slightly afterwards. See you, Mark. Thanks for being here, mate. Buddy's got it figured out. Yeah, so it's just that... Is that like, it's a 16th note delay on there, which I think is cool. Like, I think it adds to it, but of course it wasn't Jade's fault that I decided to embellish and put a, put a slight delay there. So we'll just... Whoop, we don't want to do that. How much does that that note that um that crash sounds just like that ch ch at the start of Mr. Brightside from um the Killers? Anyone with me? Do 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 do. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, buh, 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 buh. that is better. And then the final one here. This one we just need to move a little bit. Edit it. And there we go. All right, so this should now all line up here, and it should go like this. Nobody's got it figured out. Yeah! Rock on. <laughs> so Gary can't go over to uh, the lot at the moment. Still, class is going on. That's all right. Like I said, you've got 48, uh, 48 hours. Uh, how do we upload the file? So use something like Google. Google Drive's the easiest because everyone's kind of got Gmail, and you get five gigabytes for free. So if you go to, like I did, if you go to the Google Drive app and log in with your Gmail, you'll be able to just upload the WAV file directly to there, and then you can do what I did, but in reverse. So go to the file, say, make it shareable, and then send it through. What I'll do, actually, is I'll do a video straight after this one, uh, or at least sometime in the next day, and do like an explainer. So I'll say, here's how you do it. I'll do one. So I'll do one through so that anyone using GarageBand and iOS can just follow exactly what I do and send it back. Uh, oh, there you go. You got 15. There you go. You got even more gigabytes. Yeah, maybe it is 15. It used to be five. I think, it's, I think it was one, and then five, and then 10, and they just keep expanding it out. Nobody's got it figured out. I know we're all going to have uh, it in our heads, aren't we? Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to totally jinx it now, but have you noticed that the reflector has worked for the entire time? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> for two hours. It, it dropped out once at the one hour mark, but it hasn't crashed my entire Mac. So I think going full screen and only... Put, if I'm using reflector and I'm putting my screen up there, only putting my screen up and not trying to switch between... Because that's when it seems to crash, is when you switch between um, like Chrome tabs and then my, my file and everything else. Speaking of my file and everything else, let's jump over because uh, Jade has apparently sent me a message through Zim Messenger and uh, we'll show you how we can get this done. Bear with me a moment while I go over to my messenger window. Uh, the old Facebook messenger. All right, Gang Vocal 1. So Jade has sent me... In fact, I'll, what I'll do to make it even easier, I'll, uh, I'll go to this on my iPad here. So I won't show you this because there's private, super secret private messages in there. It's not really. All of Jade and I, my messages are like, what are you working on? When's your show today? What are you doing here? <laughs> it is all business, but uh, that's cool. So I'm going to tap and hold on my messenger and that will, whoop, it tries to open it. Tap and hold. No. Oh, oh come on. All right. It's not playing nicely. Tap and hold on that one. It's trying to open it up here, but then what we need to do is hit the little share button once it does that. And then we need to go uh, copy. So we're just copying the link because even in these things, even when you go, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but even when you go open in Safari, it'll often just open it in the directly in the um, in Google. So you need to open in Safari. Which, as, as Jade's saying here, 100%. And because sometimes I go open in Safari and it, it just won't go in there. It's it's a pain in its butt. Uh, all right, so we're going to go into going to Google Drive. Here it is. So 
this is why you need to do this so that you can get to this screen. If you if it gets to any other screen, you've probably gone wrong. So uh, now we can just download. So we can just hit the download button. This will now engage the Safari Download Manager, which is the easiest way to do this so that we can just hit download. It sticks it straight into our downloads folder and we can see that it's over here. There it is, 15.9 gigabytes. So it's lined up exactly as it is. So what we can do now is we can bring it back in. So uh, we'll do this as a bit of a test run. So we'll come over here to Zigarage Band. So this is, uh, this is our full version. So we're going to close out of that because we'll bring it into... Actually, we could bring it... No, because we're going to run out of room if we do it there. We'll just do this because what I'll probably have to do is create my own uh, separate file and just bring in the whole backing track as a WAV file. In fact, I'll... Should I do that now? No, I'll just stick it in here for now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Very, very second guessing myself here, aren't I? So what we can do is we can go to our loops here. We can browse from the uh, browse items and then we can come over here and go to the downloads folder. We can then grab this one here for Jade and it's going to go boom and pop it in here just like that. And then we can bring Jade's gang vocals and pop them down the bottom here, uh, there. And what we'll do is we'll bring Jade's vocals up and put them with mine in this right spot, in the same spot. Oh, hang on. No, that's going to that's gonna move just the vocals. We want to move the whole track. So we'll grab the track and we'll move it and we'll bring it in here. And I'm assuming, Jade, that I'm allowed to, um, I'm allowed to play these now. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. Got to do it to the start because it's, there we go. So they're all lined up there. I'll turn it down because you can see that it's normalized again out of Jade's side. So um, let's, uh, let's, let's take a listen, shall we? I'll, I'll take a listen to everything together and we'll, uh, we'll turn Jade's up here. Uh, we'll just make sure that she's got some, some support here with the same sort of reverb that I've got on my gang vocals, just so that it sits nicely in the mix. And let's play it here. And we'll, we will play them separately because I know Jade won't mind. Let's... Uh... <laughs> Because we're all just a work in progress. There's mine. We're all just a work in progress. Oh, Jade's harmonized. Love it. We're all just a work in progress. See, Jade's got next level and she's, uh, she's harmonized. We're all just a work in progress. Yeah, that's cool. Listen to these. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Nobody's got it figured out. I, this is going to be great. I just know it. Uh, so that's that's all there is to it. So yeah, all, all you need to do there is um, is record it as a WAV file, put it somewhere, either on iCloud Drive or Google Drive or Dropbox or somewhere, and then send me a link to it so I can download it. I'll jump into Safari and then I'll uh, go and get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jade says so you said unaffected, effectless or unaffected. Yeah, exactly. All right, where are we for time? We're 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 nearly there because uh, I wanted to. I gave myself a limit of two hours here today, so I can then go and take a break. Uh, oh, Thomas just sent his messenger. All right, Thomas, we'll sneak it in. So we'll jump back over to Messenger and we'll grab Thomas Christ's as well because we might as well, right? We might as well get started on this. It'll just save me time down the track. Uh, so we'll go back over to the Facebook Messenger, which I won't show here again, because Thomas and I do talk about all sorts of uh, controversial topics. Uh, so we'll tap and hold on that one, and we will go copy. That copies the link. Again, if you do open in Safari, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it opens the app anyway, because iOS is a bit crap like that. Uh, but we're going to come here in, and just to show you how this all works here this time around, we'll come back over here to Safari. That's where I was with Jays before. All I need to do is pop into the top here, tap on that, and tap paste, and then hit enter, and it'll go over, and now we will have Thomas's file here. Uh, so we can go into there. Oh, he's got a couple. Harmony and Melody. Oh, see, you, you guys are so... You're next level with this stuff. We'll download this. Thing. And it won't matter that it's a zip file because uh, files will let us decompress it. So we'll wait for we'll wait for Safari to tell us that we can download it. Come on, Safari. You can do it. There we go. We'll download that. And that'll download the zip file this time around. If we go up to here to this one. There it is. Now we can tap on that one. It'll take us into here. We then need to unzip it. 
and then go into the folder and then here the two are so we'll uh we'll just grab these and oh, we'll move them uh we'll let them well let us do it from inside here uh i think so because yeah because it's unzipped all right so we just need to import these into GarageBand here so we'll, once again we'll go up and back to garage band and we'll just continue using this sort of this project here because what i can do is i'll just use this to put all these gang vocals in and then i might have to start like culling off other tracks just while we do this what happened to the hats oh there's no hats in that final section <laughs> that's all right uh so what we'll do here we'll uh, we'll just make some room here and just to make it easier on myself i'll duplicate these out so that i'm using the same effects and volumes and everything here and we'll once again go to our import here browse the items work in progress gang vocals let's bring in the melody from thomas christ and we'll do the same again. We will browse items and bring in the harmony from Thomas Christ. Uh, where do we send a file? So uh, if you're in my Facebook, you can Facebook Messenger it or just uh, send an email. Uh, and Ace of ET says the attachment for Gmail is 25 uh, megs, so you should be okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so you can just send it as an attachment on an email, Pete at studiolivetoday.com and they should be able to come through there um but yeah anywhere you can send it it's, that's why it's easier to be a link because then you don't have to worry about file sizes and anything else all right so we've got uh thomas's here we'll grab the harmony here we'll stick that there look how easy this is like to do this so this is this is collaboration at its best here my friends all right, so we got Thomas's stuff in here. Uh, we'll we'll play all of our gang vocals together, and then I'll uh, I'll make Thomas be brave, and we'll we'll move them all out. So this is what we're we're all sounding like together when we all sing. We all sing as one. We're all just a work in progress. There you go. We're all just a work in progress. Yeah, so I like it. So Thomas has given us... We're all just a work in progress. So Thomas has given us an awesome uh, melody line here. We're all just a work in progress. And he's also given us some uh, some harmony here to go along with it that we can put in the mix too. We're all just a work in progress. That's cool. So if we bring all of these in together and bring it back, take a listen to what we've got already with just me and Jade and Thomas doing our thing. We're all just a work in progress. This is going to sound so cool. We're all just a work in progress. Let's bring it back into the mix, shall we? Everybody's got to We're bring all it out. just a work in progress. We all have time. The root to grow. Yeah, We're all just a work in progress. And if we start sort of moving these around, like let's say for, for Thomas's, we'd want like his uh, one over on one side, uh, one over on the other side, and we'll stick Jade over halfway left. Um, yeah, I'm already left and right. Uh, yeah. And as we add more. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got it figured out. Just what we know. We all have time. Figured out. Yeah, and I'm thinking I'll even remove mine. I don't think I need me in there. I think that works well. I think having all of our different voices in there at once for this big crescendo finale is going to be kind of cool. There you go. We've got a few minutes over time here today, but I think it was worth it because uh, I haven't had quite as much fun making music and mixing music and doing music in a long time. So uh, we're going to go out with uh, a quick listen here, and then uh, I will do an instruction video that I'll release probably later tonight. For those that are sort of still on the fence or need to make sure that they know exactly what we're going, what we're doing here. Uh, but let's go back to the version 14 here now. And uh, while I was listening, you might have noticed I was listening on the monitor speakers. I did just tweak those drums a bit. I'm just going to have to make sure that they sit nicely in the mix. The snare, I was watching on my metering here. And every time the snare hit when I moved it to the right, I was sort of clipping over there. But when I moved it back to the center, everything seems super balanced now. So I'll just have to play around with that as we go. But... Let's just bring this on in here and uh, see now we don't have, see now I'm just sad because we don't have Thomas's and Jade's um, vocals, backing vocals in the end section here. 
So you just heard them, but we will uh, we'll mix them back in. Once we get everyone's in a couple of days, we'll mix them back in. And then we're not far from it because we're the 16th today. We're going to have this all done by the 20th so that we can do the mastering. So the final mix will be done by the 20th. We'll then do the mastering and then get it out. We'll be releasing it to uh, to the, the, the world through DistroKid. And uh, then we'll talk about sharing music and we'll get more into some of your music because I know everyone out there is working on your stuff as well. So we'll talk more about that in the coming shows. But let's uh, let's go out here now by uh, taking a final full listen to where we're at here with uh, with work in progress. And uh, you can say your goodbyes and I'll, I'll return at the end to just give you all a shout and say goodbye. But here we go. Work in progress by Pete Johns and the Studio Life Today Choir soon to come. Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out Nobody's knowing all they can Not everything will go to Because we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out We all have doubts and think to know and learn about Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out When everything just feels so hard If you go far It's hard to grow up But if you show up You'll shine and they'll see what you are Because we're all just so I can Sorry, sorry to stop the fun. I just had a thought that these vocals need a little drop of chorus on them, I think. I think we just need to add a chorus effect. I don't know why, but I just thought that as we were going through here. Not a whole heap, just a little bit. So uh, let's just uh, see if we can get this right and then we'll return to the song. Already in progress. We are still yeah, about like that. And then we'll put the same over on this one. Uh, add the chorus. We are still yeah, just like around that 25% mark, like that. All right, sorry for that, but I just wanted to, uh, when you hear something, sometimes you just got to chuck it in there. So let's go back uh, to this section and take another listen. Because we're all just the work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. Yes, we're all just the work. We're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it figured out Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out With what we know, we all have time The root to grow Yes, we're all just a work in progress Nobody's got it, nobody's got it figured out
work in progress is still a work in progress, but we are getting there. So, uh, Thank you all for being here today. Uh, thank you for those who are contributing. Uh, Ashley, yes, if you send me a, a message with the link or, a, or an email with a link to your Dropbox, I will download it and give it a go and see how we go. Anyone else that wants to record some vocals in the next couple of days, just go ahead and do it. Send me back your, your WAV file or uh, send me back a link to your file and then uh, we will get onto it from there. Thank you so much. This has been an awful lot of fun. I'm going to finish up there. Uh, we will be back again. Like I say, tomorrow we'll have a couple of pre-recorded videos and things uh, going on. And then, of course, it is your Music Live YML. So if you've got a YML song to submit, head over to studiolivetoday.com slash YML for that one. Uh, that is going to do it. Please, folks, uh, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others until we meet again. And uh, keep creating. Yeah, because remember, we're all just a work in progress. Rock on. Sure.